Hey guys, it's Hobie Hill with Deep Dungeon Games. Um, I've had quite a few bit of requests to kind of go through a run through of the Deception games and how to play them. So in these videos and all the other videos, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run them one at a time and add them to a playlist on YouTube. So that way future people and anyone can actually find those games and, and play those games if that's what they want to do. Uh, as always, I appreciate everyone backing the Kickstarter and, you know, purchasing the uh, PDF and, and, and everything. I really do appreciate it, guys. But, you know, I mean, you can learn a lot from the videos and play your own version of it uh, if that's what you want to do. But if you want to pick up the book, the PDF on our website, just holler at us. Uh, let us know. Website, www.deepdungeongames.com. Pretty simple. Um, so, yeah. So this is the very first video, and I'm hoping not to do the intro for weirdness, but I probably will because that's what I do. So this first one is for Harvest. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, really short. All right, guys. So we're going to be doing the very first game in Deception, which is called the game Harvest. And this deal, I have two sets of dice here. I have a copper color set of dice, and I have a more darker bronze set of dice, um, kind of a rustic bronze. Uh, what I'm going to do is on this side up here will be the DM side, and this side down here will be the player side. And I'm going to try to organize the dice to where you can see them very easily. So in, ha in Harvest, if you have the uh, the book or the PDF, you'll notice that it calls for a D20, a D12, a D10, a D8, a D6, and a D4. It says the goal of Harvest is to hit 20 or higher using a D20 as the base. The first player to make or break 20 is the winner. But how to change the base number? First, every everyone rolls the D20 die. The player with the highest number starts the die the next round. The player rolls the next lower number dice, d12, d10, d8, d64. The remaining player around the table, one at a time, then follows suit. If at any point a player reaches 20 or above, the game is over and that player wins. So I don't know if that makes sense to you guys, but I think it does to me. And I mean, it's pretty simple. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. So if you're playing Harvest, and you're a player or the DM. The goal is to get your D20 to 20, okay? So I rolled my D20 and it's got a nine on it. Okay, so what you need to do now is roll a D12, okay? And you're gonna roll this guy. So I got a 12. So on the rules, it says, not all dice increase the total, sub the duck. D12, D8, D4, add to the total. D10, D6, subtract from the total. Okay, so right there, I have a 9 plus 12 is 21. I win. Pretty simple, right? So let's try it again, and let's see, I'll see now if I can't actually, you know, go through the whole set this time. So I have an 8 this time. Okay, so basically the even number dice add, and the odd number subtract. So I'm going to roll my D12, right? So I got a 3. So now I'm going to change my number on my d20. I'm going to change it to 11. As soon as I can find the 11. There it is. Okay, so then I'm going to leave this guy up here. Okay, and now I'm going to roll a d10, which also adds. No, I'm sorry, d10 subtracts. So now I have a 5. Okay. So now I'm going to go down to, I'm sorry, what is that? Uh, 6. Yes, that is correct. So I have my 6. And then I'm going to roll my d8. I got a 2, so now I'm going up to 8. As soon as I can find the 8. There it is. Okay. Now I'm going to roll a d6, which is also a subtract. So I rolled a 5. It's not good. So I'm going to move this to 3. Now, lastly, oh, I got a four on my D4, so that guy, I'm gonna give you up to seven. So for my final total, I have a seven. As soon as I can find it, there it is. Okay, and so what, what would happen is, whoever won has the highest number would win this round. Um, you know, if you have a tie, you can do a split pot, or you know, if you're just playing for the giggles, that's fine as well. Um, but Essentially, all, this have to, all you have to do with this thing is 
the highest number wins, but if you roll a natural 20 or you have a 20 on the, on the dice after you're adding, or I guess what you can't like, subtract well, after you're adding, then you win. I mean, that's, that's as simple as that. The first one gets it, wins. Um, the lore behind this game is, uh, I thought was really fun and interesting. Basically, I created a lore around a small farming village across the land. The intent was to instruct children about the practices of farming while sharing precious family time. Through the playing harvest, youngsters grew up to understand that every little thing could add or subtract from this season's crop. A diligent farmer produces a better crop. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the short little video right here of how to play Harvest from Deception.